King Akeem, where brotherly love is considered a weakness, where cruelty, hate, and lawlessness are virtues, and where murder is commonplace. This is a street in Tranto, the capital of Canada. It is broad daylight, and yet there is a feeling of fear, the fear of a dark, moonless night. This is a man of Karen, a man who has lived outside of the laws of Karen because, and listen well, because he is an honest man. His mission this morning is to escape. Escape to another planet where he can live in dignity and without fear. But escape from Karen is not easy. These lurk in every corner, waiting for their prey. All three of them? And for those who would help the helpless, there is no mercy. These offenders must answer to the highest law, the highest authority of Karen, the king himself. You are under arrest. Come on. And so a man whose crime was honesty, whose ambition was to live in peace and dignity and without fear, has his life, dream, and all his possessions torn from him in a matter of seconds. This is Karen, the stronghold of Akim, the terrible... As you can see here, Howell, there have been improvements. It looks beautiful. Beautiful. It's good to have you back, Avo. But how goes our campaign? In some ways, very well, Your Majesty. But as long as uh, the Galaxy Bureau of Investigation police the Galaxy, we cannot make the happy you desire. But their leaders have a prize. Every man has a prize. So I thought, Your Majesty. But as dedicated as you and I are to spreading the doctrine of evil, so are they of the GBI devoted to spreading the doctrine of good. Then they must be destroyed. That is easily said, sire. But to destroy such men who have strength, brains, and the support of every government in the galaxy is not so easy. Destroy their leaders. Do that, and the rest will fall apart. That is true. But to destroy Commissioner Herrick, Dr. Sarkov, or even Dale Arden, Sarkov's assistant, is practically impossible. Why? I can sing of the hand that way. And there is always Flesh Gordon to contend with. Flesh Gordon. All your reports are full of him. The Kuanaremo smashed by him. The attempt to take over the Galaxy Radio power plant of Trios. Discovered and defeated by him. Yes. If we can find a way to destroy Flesh Gordon, Your Majesty, the Galaxy will be... And what have we here, sir? His name is Jarl, Your Majesty, an offender against the Crown. The charge? Breaking the first law of Karen. The old, the weak, and the sick shall perish by the hand of the strong. And the specific crime? Defending an old man who was in the process of being rough. You may go. Did you not know? You were committing a crime against Karen. Against me, the king. 
Certainly, Your Majesty. What child doesn't know your filthy law that unless he can rob, cheat, and betray, he'll one day face death by your hand? That's an admission of grief. The traitor's death and Cairn is preferable to life here, where the only honor is deceit. Death is too easy for you. You are too eager for it. I shall change your point of view. All right, torture me. Do what you will. You will never destroy my conviction that the laws of Karen are wrong and inhuman. No. <laughs> It's a long time. Ah, well. How do you feel now? The old, the weak, the sick shall perish by my hand. Let him go. He will be a law-abiding citizen of Karen from now on. What is it? I have a message from the Space Partiners. Well? A representative from the Galaxy Bureau of Investigation is on his way here. His ship has just taken off from Earth and will land on Charon within the hour. A GBI man from Earth. Well, well, Arrow. That's a pleasant surprise. We shall give him a warm welcome when he arrives. Yes? Commissioner Herrick, Tashkon and Dil Abna here. Good, send them right in. Oh. Uh, welcome home. Good to see you. Thanks. Want to sit down? Nine patrol ships out, I see. Yeah. And all on charted course and in good shape, thank heaven. Position H was supposed to be the sky flash on a special mission. Where to? Karen, one of the black planets of our galaxy. That's the stronghold of the king they call Akim the Terrible. That's the play, and that's the man. Somehow or another, we must keep him from spreading his evil influence throughout the galaxy. Well, if I remember correctly, he has no army. Only a strong arm squad that rules Karen by fear. He has no army. But his kingdom is a kingdom of evil. Wherever there is evil throughout the galaxy, there he finds allies, ready to steal, murder, and destroy for him. Obviously, Akeem the Terrible is GBI's top assignment right now. When do we start? You don't. As I told you when you came in, you were supposed to be on your way to Karen now. But the crime situation is getting so out of hand, I... Well, I have to... Send somebody else? Good. Yeah. Who is it? Kurt Weber. You couldn't have picked a better agent. Kurt and I went through GBI training school together, you know. His record is excellent. I'm confident that he can handle the assignment. But there was another reason for urgency. Orville, Arkham's ambassador at large, has returned to Karen. Why does that worry you, Commissioner? Every time he's returned before, a crime wave throughout the galaxy. Stardustern calling GBI headquarters. That's his hourly report in. Coming, Commissioner. Give us video, too, Frank. Coming, Commissioner. Yes, sir. Hi, Commissioner. <laughs> Where are you, Kurt? Just getting ready to land on Karen. Hi, Flash. How oh, beautiful. Seems that I beat you both out of a trip for once, eh? Take care of yourself, Kurt. And watch old Akeem. He's a tough customer. Don't worry, Flash. I'll keep my eye peeled on the old pirate. See if I can find out what he's up to, huh? Oh, uh, coming into the spaceport. I'd better decelerate before I wind up in little pieces. Report back in 15 minutes, as arranged.
You have business here on Cairo? Yes. With whom? The king. You have an appointment? No, no. What do you really are as a spy? You've got my credentials. I'm not hiring anything. Give me your gun. Search her. Now, wait, you have no right. I'm chief agent with full of romantic immunity. Yes? The TBI spy is here, Your Majesty. Your orders have been carried out. Bring him to me. Your Majesty. What's the meaning of this? I'm an accredited representative of GBI. I'm sorry my men handed you so roughly, my dear Mr. Weber. You see, there are that mild thoughts here on Karen. But to get to the point, I have a job for you. If it is something that is within my power as representative of GBI? Not exactly. I want you to kill Flesh God. Your humor is a little heavy for me. But I am quite serious. If so, you must be clean out of your mind. Flesh Gordon is my best friend. But he is my greatest enemy. He will stand in my way no longer. Flesh Gordon will outlive you, Akim. And wherever you try to spread evil, he and the entire GBI will stop you. You refuse to kill him. Need I answer? Of course not. But in that case... <laughs> Kill Flesh God now? Yes. Yes, of course. I'll kill him. But you have not forgotten he's your best friend. Friend? I hate God. After you have taken care of him, what about Commissioner Harris? Oh, why not? Good. Good. But first, how do you plan to do your job on God. Oh, don't worry. I'll find a way, and quickly. Here. Take this. It's silent and sure. Oh, I don't want the GBI to get suspicious. If I don't report back to them in the televiewer every 15 minutes, they all send help here to me. You can use my teleradio. Kurt's five minutes overdue. I'm worried. Calling GBI. Kurt Weber on the current. I'm glad to hear that voice. GBI. Give us a video or two for it. Everything all right? Fine. Arkham isn't going to cause any more troubles in the galaxy. What makes you so sure? I'll give you details when I get back. Uh, oh, Flash. Yes, Kurt? I'd like to see you when I get back. Sure, when? I'm starting back to Earth in a few minutes. I'll be there in an hour. Where will I be able to find you? Well, I'll be in my office for about three hours, catching up on some work. Good. See you later. That takes care of that. This will take care of God. And now a spaceship heads towards Earth from Karen. Piloted by a man with a twisted brain. A brain fevered by a machine of treachery. A treachery for which he is not responsible and cannot control. Okay, glad to see you back. 
Glad to be back, Flash. How are you, boy? Fine, never better. How are you? All oh, fine, too. Oh, I see you're planning another cruise. That's right. Where at this time? Canny's been out of sea. Oh, that's you new one on me. Uh, is it on the map? It sure is. It's part of the Crab Nebula, one of the messier objects. Here's the globular cluster. First, we hit Taurus here, Aquarius here, and Scorpion here. <laughs> Crazy! Flash, I don't understand it. Kurt's your best friend. Why would he try to kill you? I don't know, Dale. Maybe something happened to him on Paris. Dale, you better call Dr. Zarkoff and the chief right away. Kurt, Kurt, what are they doing? Kurt. Just as I thought. What is it, Doctor? Something has been done to Kurt's brain. That reaction, you see, is the brainwave of a homicidal maniac. Good heavens. It looks almost as though he had had a frontal lobotomy. And yet there are no scars on the skull. That's strange. Unless it were done electronically. All right, Dale, the light. There is only one answer to this flash. I know, Chief. Dale and I will take off right away. I'll make a keen pay for doing this to Kurt. All right. Mm -hmm. But before you go, I'll give you a special code so you can report to us without detection in case of trouble. Right. Well, wait a minute. If we're captured, Akim can do to us what he's done to Kurt. I've thought of that. We can try to avoid it. But how since we don't know what happened? You and Dale will have to have your hair cut off. After that, we'll put a band of selenite on your frontal lobes and put a wig on each of you. And you think it'll work, Doctor? You think those selenite bands will protect their hats from whatever happened to poor Kurt? I don't know. At best, it's a gamble. We can only try. King Akeem. Dig that wig, Dale. Dig that wig, Dale. Don't flip your lid, Flash. Hooray for the toupee. You be quiet, Casey. Hang on, Dale. We're coming in for a landing. What are you worried about? Baba has only been gone for a day. Maybe he has uh, recovered sooner than we expected. Akeem, what did you do to Kurt Weber? <laughs> Welcome, Gordon. Your visit was not expected. Answer me, what did you do to Weber? I will do better than that. I will show you.
Dalton! Listen to me! Nobody talks to me like that! What's wrong, God? Feeling in a murderous mood? Tell him to let me go and I'll show you. Fast! I will, God. But first, let us understand each other. I am not your enemy. As far as I am concerned, you can kill, rob, swindle, do whatever you will. And nobody's going to stop me? But there are those who will try. Your chief, Commissioner Herrick, for example. Herrick? Yes, Herrick. I see what you mean. All right, Akeem, you can tell your muscle boys to let me go. Get Herrick on the televiewer. May I ask why? To call Herrick here. So as to have him free of GBI protection. Right. If we get rid of him here, there's no getaway problem. Excellent. Excellent, Gordon. Proceed. Calling GBI. Flash Gordon calling Hurry GBI. up, Fritz. Video. Quick, Doctor. Be ready to take down the code. Well, Flash? I think I have the answer, Chief. Yeah? We need you and Dr. Zarkoff here for scientific research. There's a band of radioactive material around Charon that works on people's minds. All right. We'll take off account right away. All right, Doctor. What does the code say? Band work. In other words, Flash and Dave's brains haven't been affected. Exactly. And naturally, we are not going to take off for Karen. We agreed with Flash not to believe anything he said, except for the fourth and eleventh words in his third sentence. But Flash may be in danger right now. That's true. All we can do is wait and hope for the best. Excellent, God. Excellent. You are very clever. Thank you, Your Highness. But you are very clever to have created this machine. Yes. Unfortunately, its effects will last for only two weeks at a time. Naturally, my scientists are working day and night to make this period permanent. Naturally, Your Highness. And now that I have done you a favor, I have one to ask. Anything? Now that I'm on your side, may I have my stun gun back? Of course. With pleasure. Thank you, Your Highness. Frankly, I felt a little undressed without it. Real machine, smash it! Take them back to Earthdale. They're the only real villains on this whole planet. And they'll send a crew from Earth to destroy all the other infernal machines on this planet. And with Akeem here in the Earth prison, these people will be free again. All right, let's go. 